On the show today, Lucy from Qualitex is back and it's part two of our bubble extravaganza. She shows us how to make this and everything else you can see right here on the table. Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV and welcome back to Lucy from Qualitex. And this is effectively gonna be part two of our bubble extravaganza. <laughs> Gotta do the hands. <laughs> if you've not seen part one, go and watch it and you can click on the link up there, I think. Point up there. Up there, yeah. If, if you're watching it on a, on a PC, if you're watching it on your phone, we've just pointed to nothing. But the link will also be down below. And we might even show the, 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 the part one. Can you, can you do that? I'm moving. There you go. There you go, that's what the show is. All right, so let's get into it. Part one, we showed everybody the fundamentals, the yep. bubbles, we did, didn't yep. we? Mm -hmm. And you, you touched on creativity and some of the amazing things you can do with bubbles. And this is where you can really differentiate, isn't it? This is really, this, this is not a go into a high street retailer, buy one of these sort of thing. This is taking it to the next level. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, should we do it? Yep. I think with bubbles, the only limit is your imagination. Yeah. To be fair, it really is. Yeah. There's so much you can You're do. You're selling it to me. You're selling it to me. So much you can do with a deco bubble. Okay. So we're going to so, do all deco bubbles on so this session. We've got a whole bunch over here, everybody. Off, off, off. What do you call Off screen. Off set. Yeah. Off, off, what do you call off it set? over there? Don't off know. set. Don't over there. Know. Over there. Loads off that you can't see over there. Off camera. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Why do you not say off camera, guys? Off you did. camera. You did. You did. Anyway, there you go. They're all over there. So. Do you want me to grab anything yet, or are you going to show Not us something? Not yet, no. So I'm very you, excited about In case you haven't seen the first one, I was just going to recap the 16 inch again. Okay, do Is it. that all right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the 16 inch. Now, this time we're going to do it slightly different, in fact. Oh, we're right. going to distort our bubble today. Ooh. Okay, so I've got a 20 inch deco bubble, um, and I'm just going to take a five inch. I'll lift it in the bag, sorry. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, no. Oh. Right, there you go. Oh, right. get back. <laughs> There you go. Oh, Thank there's you. one there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to um, open the deco bubble up. So just Thank you. Keep your moisture wipe for later on. So we're using a 20 inch. Okay, and we're going to take, thank you, going to take a five inch um, pink. Okay. Place it into the deco. Give it a rub to open up the valve. If you want to take the air out for us, please. Oh, happy thank to, you. happy to. Skills. Got to put that on my CV. <laughs> Check. Make ribbons out of balloons. When's the last time you did a CV? Mm, long while ago. Well, about two years ago. For this All right, of course. Yeah, because yeah. you, yeah, yeah. So it's not that long ago. Before that, a long while. Okay, so we're going to take a five inch balloon. I'm just going to put one puff of air in. Okay. And I'm going to tie it, okay, quite close to the neck of the, the bead. I have literally no idea what you're doing. Ah, so this is quite this exciting. This is just for you, this one. Okay, and I'm going to cut the bead off because I don't want to see it. Okay, so then I'm going to take a 16 inch and yeah. pre stretch it with okay. air. That's massive! It is. So this is a 16 inch fully inflated, let it down. In okay, case so if you don't stretch this out, it's got more um, chance of it's going to burst. It okay. needs to stretch. So I'm just going to fold it up and place it inside. But Lucy, you've already got a balloon in there. I have. This is where the magic happens. Really? Yeah. Okay. Right. So. Okay. I'll have faith. <laughs> yeah. Glad you have. No, okay. So, <laughs> bead on top of the uh, deco yeah. bubble. When you then... say that, you mean you, you push it all the way down to the... To the yeah, so the knobbly part of the balloon is called the bead. Yeah. So the bead's going to yeah, sit on top of the deco. Um, and with this one, I'm just going to hand pump it because I want to control what's happening with my five inch balloon. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to hand inflate the 16. Okay. But I'm going to move that five inch over to the front of the balloon. Okay. Oh. And if it starts to move around, just push it back. So really, I want the bead sitting at the bottom of the balloon. 
Okay, so I can see morph now. A pink version of morph. Yeah. Okay. okay. Showing your age there. Yeah, thanks, Greg. That's all right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to inflate it. Now, oh, with this one... Oh, this is how you're distorting. Yeah, oh. so with this one, you are going to get a little bit of air inside. But what you could do, you could put a straw in and suck it out, or um, you could get a hoover and suck the air out of okay. the deco if you wanted to. But... Okay. Yeah, so that's look one more cool. little bit. Okay, so we're just gonna twist the bubble like before. So twist it at the top of the thumb and then take your 260 Q that you've done. Thank you. Cheers. I'm just gonna tie it around so hold it away from you yep. and pull. I'm just gonna wrap that around three times on this one. And then tie it off as normal. See, when I saw the picture of, of this that you sent before you mm -hmm. came today, I thought you'd got a balloon and you'd put like a 160 inside and then done that, but you've not. You've just put the just five put inch it, balloon yeah. in there and squished it. Just squish it, yeah. So okay. we used to make eyeballs this way. These are really popular for eyeballs. All right. You can bloodshot them. There's lots of stuff you can do with okay. this as well. Okay, so what's okay. that going to be? What do you think? Well, you oh, know what it's going to be. I've no idea. <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> Anyone not seen the slide? <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a pig. Okay. okay. So I like pigs. Okay. So we're going to... Actually, have you seen Clarkson's Farm, season three? I haven't, no. Big focus on pigs. Really? Oh, uh, <laughs> I do like a pig. That's one thing I notice when I'm driving on the motorway, the pig style, so I like to do yeah. pigs. Yeah. Okay, so that's my pig. Okay, for the base, we've got cluster of four mocha, 11 inch brown size to seven inch, mm -hmm. cluster of four, five inch brown size to four inch. Yep. And then with these ones, we've got five inch pink, and I've just got a two, half of a 260 in between. Okay. So we've got this. But this looks quite nice for Very a base nice. for saying health. Nice little base. It is. Okay. So take your 260 from your 20 inch bubble, bring it into the center. I'll turn it around. Bring it into the center. So really pull it right, really tight. And all I'm going to do is just wrap around three or four times on one side, three or four times the other. You don't even have to knot this if you don't want to. So I'm guessing that's going to be the nose of the pig, just it a is. guess. It is, just yeah. A guess. So what else would you use that, could you use that for? Well, it's technique. Well, no, the, the, if that was, you've put the five inch in there and yeah. What, yeah, what, so you, what? Could, you, you could put like a white inside and then put the black on top for an eyeball. Okay, yeah. Um, you could do, well, on another design, we've done golf balls and okay. lots of different things you can. Right. If you do multicolored ones, you can make it into like a monster or an alien and right. find a limb up. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so that's, that's the pig. So for the face, I've just got some vinyl that I've pre-cut. Okay, so I've just got some circles and I'm just going to eyeball where it's going to go. This is some... Instantly, it becomes a pig. Transforms it, doesn't it? And then we've got some pink vinyl for the, the snout. Okay, and then for the black, I'm just going to put a bit of white onto it just to bring out the, um, the speck. So if you haven't got, I mean, you could use a white vinyl or you could use an edding pen for this one. Yeah. Okay, and then just give them a little smiley mouth. Oh, happy okay. pigs. Right, so we're going to put some more embellishments on now just to make him a bit more realistic. Okay. So we're going to make some ears. Realistic? Realistic, yeah. How can you call that realistic? It is realistic, more, more fun. Okay. It's a, it's a balloon. No. It's a pig. All right. All right. Okay. Ooh. So that is a 260 in there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got 11-inch um, pink with yep. a 260 inside. So we're just going to distort it. So Sue Bowler was the first person to show me this. On was she? TV, yeah. I think she made some mushrooms, if I remember rightly. Oh, uh, yes. Fire mushrooms. Yeah, our mushrooms were good. Uh, yeah, they've been a long, long while, definitely. So I'm just inflating it a little bit. Hi, Sue. Hello. Yeah, Sue's been a big inspiration over the years for me. Yeah, she's yeah. probably the biggest she one. She is great. She is. Okay, so I'm going to inflate the 260. I'm going to put uh, three pumps in. So one, two, three. I'm going to pull the bead. 
which has gone inside, and then I'm going to pull the 260 until it hits my thumb. Yeah. Okay, and then just tie it off in a double knot. Okay, and then I'm just going to let it down slowly. And with the neck of the balloon, I'm just going to roll it back a little bit. I've got that as my guide. I've got two different size ears now. Right, so if that happens, what you can do is just pump it up a little bit more. Just make that a bit more rounded. Okay. And then let it down. Yes. That's it. I'll put a bit more in. This didn't happen on rehearsal, break. <laughs> right, there you go. You've got to go right, haven't you? Yeah, don't definitely. Right, okay. Okay, so I'm going to tie that off, and then I'm just going to take some uh, Bloom Bond. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's going to form over his ears. Okay, so cool. cut all your excess off. And then... I got asked a question recently. Yeah. So you know the nursery rhyme, this little piggy goes to market. Mm-hmm. This little piggy stays at home. Yeah. This little piggy has... What's the, what, what does the little piggy have? Roast beef. Roast beef. Does anybody else think it's anything other than roast beef? No. Jam and bread. That's what I heard, yeah. Okay. I know, this little piggy has jam and bread. Isn't that crazy? Never heard it. Roast beef. Roast beef. And this little piggy had none. Maybe it's a vegetarian. It might be. And then, can you have jam if you're a veggie? I don't know. Oh, no. I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> isn't jam just sugar? Yeah. Have you ever made jam? No, I no, don't cook. Well, you don't cook? <laughs> no, I don't cook. <laughs> okay, so that's his ears. Okay. Okay, and for the tail, we're just going to make a curly tail. So you could either do it manually or you can cheat. Okay, so I'm going to put a 160 inside a 260. Mm hmm It's a long time a, since I've seen this yeah, technique. Yeah, and then a bead on bead. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make sure I've got the end of the 160 inside. I'm going to tie it off. And then I'm going to inflate the 260 while pulling the 160 tight. The more you pull that 160, the tighter the curl's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to inflate it, pull that a little bit more tighter. Oh, look at that, and what a tail. trick. Okay. Perfect okay, so piggy tail. Yeah, so I don't want a big long tail, so I'm going to come up a little bit, let it down, so squeeze it, let it down, and then tie both together. But there is another technique, isn't there? There is, yeah. You can do it with your hands. You can wrap it around a broomstick or yep. you can do it manually on the machine. But whatever you feel comfortable doing. But that's a good technique. Yeah, okay. So with this one, with the end, I'm just going to push that back in. So I don't see that. Okay, and then turn the pig round and then we're just going to bloom bond his tail on. So this design has sort of come from one that I did years, many years ago in competition. All right. I made um, ham from Toy Story. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that was, but that was slightly different. That one was using a 20 inch deco for his head and a 24 inch deco for his bum. So okay. yeah. Okay, oh, so that's, cool. that's our little piggy. That is brilliant. Piggy went to market, yeah. balloon market. So this little piggy went to balloon market. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. All right. All right. Have we, have we got anything else? We have, yeah. Do you want to bring out the other one? What do you want me to bring out? The bear, please. The bear? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Okay, so this one is using a 24-inch deco. Yeah. So you can see the difference in size. Yep. Um, still using a 16-inch, which we've pre-stretched. Two apple twists for the ears. Okay. Which we've glued on. Some vinyl. Seven inch chrome size to five and a half inches. Yeah. And 11 inch pink size to seven inches. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask about pricing again. Okay. What would you think? Now, I'm, I know you've not done it accurately. No, I haven't. No. Head over to balloonmarket.co.uk, have a download of our pricing tool for free. Yeah. And you can, you can price it properly. But from a perceived value point of view. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing around 35, 40 pounds. See, that's the same. You sure? Yeah. Good. 
Good. Because they are impactful and they're they different are. and you don't pick them up in the high street stores. No, and they'll last a long time. Perfect. I feel they're going to last a lot longer. Okay, so what are we doing with this? Should I put these down? Yes, please. Okay, yeah. put these down. Let's get rid of this. All right, next. Next one. Uh, oh, am I grabbing something? Yes, please. What? What's this? This? Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Okay. I like so, this. Do, do you need the wool? Yes, please. Okay, so this Where'd you one, get this wool from? Blue Market, Greg. Blue Market, Dakota, UK. <laughs> Head over there now and you can buy wool. We've got hundreds of different... You've got some really nice wool. We've got some nice wool, yeah. Anyway. Definitely. There you go. Okay, so with this one, this is a 20 inch um, blush. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 20 inch deco with 16 inch blush inside. Um, vinyled up the face. Cluster of four, light blue to um, four inches. Yeah. And again, we've used... Um, uh, oh, it's gone out of my head. Cranberry. Cranberry. Yeah, sorry. Cranberry to seven inches, 11 inch to seven inches. Yeah. And you can personalise this to whatever, um, I don't know, teams they support or we did one recently, which you can have a picture of, a little graduation man. Should we put the picture up there? Yeah, please. There you go. So, yeah, so you can add to this. <laughs> but this one, we just wanted to add some wall to make some more, like, visual texture. Yeah. And again, you could... There you go. Smile, Greg. <laughs> All it needs is some little uh, crystal drops. That's supposed to be me. Yeah, this is called Greg. Yeah, it needs a bit. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> All right. I hope you've enjoyed your time on BMT. <laughs> All right. I like that. I like adding more. So what did you do? You just... Tied it up and... Yeah, it made it like a, a little bow yeah. into a bow with a 260 around the middle onto some stretchy balloon tape and then we just cut in between. Um, but again, you can... It, it's just your imagination. Originally, we were going to do some bubbles, but we wanted to add some wool just to make it a little bit more fun. Okay. But you could use ribbon. You, there's lots of things you could use with it. Okay. All right. All right. We're done with that one? Yeah, you can take Mini Greg away. Okay, Thank Mini you. Greg's gone. Get rid of the wool. Right, what next? Over uh, the flowers, please, Greg. Oh, this is nice. Look at this feels quality. It this does. Feels, it looks quality it as well, looks doesn't it? It looks and feels. So it's all the way round as well. Don't just do something just to the front. Always go round because yeah, you don't yeah. know the way it's going to be. So with this one, we've used the 11 inch um, elegant greenery, mm -hmm. latex packs of 25. Cluster of four to four inches on top. Yep. And then I've just pulled some clusters of three on half of a 260. So I've got um, four of those just to make it a, a bit more fuller. So you've just got two lots of three with a 260 in the middle and you yeah. just put it on there. Pulled, yeah, pulled it through. Yeah. And then we've just added some greenery. So when you're using your greenery, uh, we've gone here. You only need a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so with, with this one, um, I've just cut sprigs. So you don't even use a whole piece of yeah. greenery. So just cut it and then you can either bloom bond it in or you can cool glue gun it as well. Yeah. Make sure you use coal instead of hot and you just stick them in. Um, and then we've just used the, the flowers just to replicate the 24 inch um, wedding floral. It just, it just all goes. It's, it's really pretty, And then, of course, it? you'd personalise it. Yeah, no, definitely. So we did. I did one of these for my um, niece's communion on okay. Sunday, and we vinyled it with it vinyled it up. Um, you could high shine it as well if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where'd you, where'd you get your florals from? Ready? Yeah. Where do you reckon? I have no idea. Uh, Blue Market. Blue.co.uk. Check it out right now, everybody. Uh, just one little tip. If you're okay. going to use um, eucalyptus, it's quite sharp at the end, so you need to cut it and put some stem text. Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. All right, thank you. Done with that one? Yeah, all done. Oh, what's next? What's next? We're running okay. out of space over here. <laughs> are, we, are we getting the flo yeah. floaty one? Yeah. Uh, this is... These are getting better, Lucy. Oh, these okay. are getting better and oh, better you. and better. Look at that. Brilliant. Do you need, do yes, you need the please. bits? Yeah, just the, the greens and the golds, please, Greg. Thank you. Okay. Do, do you need these bits as well? Oh, no, uh, no for, for next one. Thank you. Okay, so this is a 24-inch bubble with helium filled. We've got your uh, gilding flakes that you sell in three colours, gold, silver, and rose gold. Okay. And we've just put seven-inch chrome cluster to four inches. But And using the, um, the butterflies, because they're just so light. You can, it's this is the thing that I was I was talking about how people can just make a business out of 
just bubbles. This is so creative Definitely. and so lovely. So when I first started with using bubbles, these weren't around. We used to use the feather, bu uh, feather butterflies and they used to give a little bit of tilt. But these, yeah. you could put, I can put even more on that. And it yeah, they, they don't weigh a lot. Where'd you get them from? I don't know. Where'd you reckon? Balloonmarket.co.uk, everybody. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> okay. Is it, is it getting too much? Is it getting too much? I don't think it's getting too no. much. No. It's not getting too much. I'm getting lots of No. Nerve. Mike's falling over. No. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm going to show you it in air. Okay, so we can use a 20 inch bubble See as well. Yes. Please, thank you. I'm going to pre stretch it. Again, we're going to use the. Can you move um, this back. I do like this. Yeah, thank you. 11 inch cactus, uh, sorry, 16 inch cactus. <laughs> Gonna let it down. Okay, and then we're gonna get the gilding flakes. I know, I know we sell them, but I definitely do not want to touch them because I'll end up like Deb's doing, <laughs> covered in the things. They are nice, they do look pretty, but you will be covered completely with, with gold. Dead nice. You like a bit of bling though, don't you? Yeah, you can never have too much bling. Okay, so again, we're gonna use a funnel and we're going to inflate it. So I'm going to inflate it in, but I'm going to use a whole funnel length okay. for gilding flakes. Okay. Do, do you want me to pick it up and put it in? It's up to you. I, I, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll try not to Oh sneeze. God, you don't even feel it, do you? No, I think no. this is actually the first time I've touched it. That's a, that's a yeah, big bit there. That's it. Wow. Okay. I can't get it off my fingers now. That's, that's the problem, right. isn't it? Okay. Is that enough? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll break it up. So I'm going to break it up. So I'm just you can going to put the lid on because otherwise it'll fly everywhere. <laughs> okay. Okay. So with this, I'm going to push it down. I'm just going to use the end of the uh, floral, but you could use a chopstick or a kebab stick. Okay, just make sure you break it up first if you can. So I can see that I can add a tiny bit more in place. Greg, sorry. Is this real gold? No, is it? I don't know. No. Does anybody know? Is it real gold? No. Because you put real gold on cakes and stuff, yeah. can't you? But this is this is chinka. A yeah, a little bit, please. Yeah. So the big bits, are you just gonna Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Thank you. Oh god, here we go. Okay. So with this one, I not just saying it because I'm using it today, but this is the best one that we've tried so far. Yeah. Because other ones don't break up as fine as this one. They do break up very easily, don't they? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're just going to push it down, put it into the bubble. Okay. And I'm just going to put some air in to break it up a little bit further. Or you could use the electric machine. So just see, you don't want it clumping. So what do we sell? We sell the rose gold, the gold, and the silver. And the silver. Okay. So it, at the moment for me, it's a bit too clumpy. So I'm just going to put it onto the inflator, and I'm holding it away from the edge. <sighs> Let it drop a little bit. Just break them particles up a little bit more. So to let this down, now I don't want the gold coming out, so I'm just going to pull that neck back. And as it goes down, I'm going to move this a little bit around so it starts to come So this, out. Uses, this uses the static like we did with the um, yes. confetti. So this is much, uh, prefer, yeah, this will get a lot more static. You don't need to mix the gases with this one. Oh, oh. sorry, Greg. You know, I always make a mess, and I. You do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so with this, <laughs> this in my hair and everything. All right, gonna let the air. Okay, so take the sixteen inch. Yep. Okay, and I'm just gonna give that a bit more. What you could do is put this into like a container as well, and just break it up before it goes in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's really fine in here, isn't it? Yeah, we've, we've used the helium on that, because it's a lot of, it's more fierce, it breaks up them particles better. Oh, okay. Okay, so just a 16 inch little rub, drop it in. So this is, this wouldn't, 
puncture the balloon? No, it's really light. But you can get other ones, which we've used when we couldn't get hold of that one, and it just, yeah, it's awful. But this is this is the best one so it far. It is so light, when you pick it up, you literally don't feel that you've got anything in your fingers. So. No, definitely not. OK, so that's in. So now I'm going to try and get this out. I don't want any air in here. So I'm just going to fold it. And as I'm folding it, it will break up a little bit more as well. See how much air we get in just by... Yeah. So you could do a double bubble this way if you wanted to, if you wanted to put some gold flake into your double bubble. Speaking of gold, do yeah. you know how much a bar of gold would cost you? If you wanted a bar of gold, go on to the Royal Mint site. I went to visit mm. the Royal Mint. In London? Okay. No, in Wales. Oh, okay. That's where, where it is. Mm. And um, I went on the website afterwards and you can invest in gold and stuff. But when I looked, do you know how much a, a, a gold bar, normal gold bar is? Any guesses in the room? It was actually less than that. 10. Hmm. Higher. 20 grand. Higher. 30. Lower. 25. Close, it was 24,000. Mm. Might have changed, it might be 50,000 now, who knows? I think it was 24,000. Oh, I might be completely wrong now. <laughs> Maybe I was looking at silver. I don't know. Right, okay, so that's all out. So then we're just going to inflate it. Okay, with air. <laughs> So we've taken out all the creases. And as I've turned it around, it's spun a little bit. Okay, I need to twist it again. And it's gonna take out the 260 and tie off. So always get your 260s ready. <laughs> I could have been helping. I know, I didn't think to ask, sorry. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to grab. Can you pass us that base, please? Yep. Mate? Thank you. So we've just picked out the colours again. So seven inch chrome, size to six inches. Uh, four inch cactus, size to three and a half. Okay. And then just pull it straight. So I'm just wrapping around one inch size, and then just going to bring the two sixties down. And then we can add in a little weight, like a sand weight or a water weight into there. Um, Do you need one or should we just pretend? We'll pretend, we'll okay. pretend. And then we're going to use our um, butterflies. Okay, so these come with... Oh, they are very light, aren't they? Yeah. So they come with a little um, pad, like a double-sided pad. So that's what I've just used on here. You don't even have to change it to bloom bond you can use the pad and it'll go on to um, so helium a teeny tiny little oh yeah one. yeah that double sided yeah do you want to do one? Oh, i'll try thank you so just place it into the middle into the where middle, the body is and then we're just going to peel back the double even on the little one yeah oh, i need mm -hmm. my glasses i need my glasses <laughs> where are my glasses are they on the side yeah they are so i'm just going to fold it and then i'm just going to place it on oh i just bent the, bent the butterfly so these are really good as well to put onto the um, the two, uh, the fishing line as well. So you could have a like a garland coming down the design as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're really cute. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. So because we're gonna um, we're gonna work in odds again. So odds. Always odds. They're very odd. <laughs> so I'm just gonna place some down the bottom as well there. Yeah. And just put a few more on. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so, so how much do you think this one will be, Greg? I don't know. Maybe 25 to 30 pounds, I would say. Mm. So would your you perceived say? value is higher. Okay, so we've actually costed this okay. on the Balloon Market um, costing tool. Available at balloonmarket.co.uk. <laughs> Just go and download it now. Okay, and this one's 19.99. Really? Is that all? Yeah. See, I think you could add a bit to that. Definitely. I definitely. think you could. If you want to vinyl it, obviously that's at least another five of both Exactly. Sides. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. All right. Love it. And of so course, we've, we've talked about bubbles and we've talked about these standalone decorations and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you could use the bubbles in organic decor as well. Definitely. Imagine having a few of these in an organic arch or something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, cool. Spring Fair, we used um, gumballs into our um, 
garlands. Yeah. That, yeah. And they look really... I was, when we first came up with the idea, I wasn't too sure, but seeing it visually, it really does yeah. pop. So, yeah. Fantastic. That's not a word to use. You're talking about balloons. What, pop? pop. No, I don't, no, <laughs> definitely not. Right. What are we doing now? Shall I move these yes, other way? Yes, please. Yes, okay. get I'm these gilding good, flakes out of the way before getting you have this. a heart attack. Thanks. <laughs> All right, put that down there. Okay. Right, what now? Shall I get rid of this as well? Yep, please. Okay. Oh, we are learning so much. Okay. Right, what's next? We're going to use the, uh, the fish, please. Oh, this is one of my favourites. <laughs> Hey, what do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> fish. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, I need, the, I need the stuff, don't I? Thank you. This, this fish has got eyes, though. I know, I know. Was... Okay. Okay, so in here, we've got a 16-inch um, uh, wild berry inside the 24-inch deco bubble. Okay. And I've, I've done it like this so you can see the difference. Oh, yeah, So yeah. it could be a normal fish, normal yeah, coloured fish, yeah. or if they've got more budget... You can vinyl it up. That's okay. so cool. So we've got vinyl eyes and mouth. Yeah. And then on here, we've got some embossing mousse. Embossing mousse? Embossing mousse, yeah. Now, I'm not going to promote it because I don't even know if we sell this. Do we sell this? You do. I'll pick this up straight from your shelves. Available at balloonmarket.co.uk. <laughs> okay. So, I've not seen this. So we've got the um, embellishment mousse and then we've got the glitter paste. Embellishment mousse? Yeah. So which is the embellishment so mousse? So the embellishment the, this, mousse, this yeah. Stuff. So this is the, the blue and then this is the pink. And then the paint has got a bit more texture to it. Yeah, definitely. And I, I did this at six o'clock this morning. So you can touch it. It's dry. Oh, yeah. So it only takes a couple of hours and, yeah. it, and it's dry. Um, the way I put it on is by using our... Um, where what have I? you done with it? You went know, away to get it and now you've lost it. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Here. So I've just used the moisture pack. Oh, I thought you were going to say the palette knife. Oh, no. Well, yeah, that's just one of them. So with this, this one, yeah. I just got some... I actually used tissue, but you can use... Right, so put it onto there, and then you just paint on. Just go round in circles. I just, I just I do a bit to... lower down so that the camera can see it. Yeah. Just, just anywhere. So, I was go. trying to represent the scales by doing the like circular motion. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. And then we just put that on here. And, the, and these, these, this is just a distort, this, the distortion thing you showed us just yeah, a minute ago. So, um, you left some air in it. Five pumps inside this one, okay. and this, these are sixteen-inch balloons that okay. I've used. Okay. All right. And then for the glitter paste, I'm going to use palette knife. There you go. Okay. So with this one, product placement. <laughs> Did you plan that, Debs? <laughs> oh, there's a Qualitex box, everybody. <laughs> so just a little bit on the palette knife, and then we're just going to paint it on. Oh, that that that's. So that's a deco bubble, and it's really art, isn't it? So it's art deco. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. That was not yeah, my Yeah, you joke. can't that take the credit for that that's one. That's really good. Really good. Credit, where is June? <laughs> that's great. You. So, yeah, so you know, there's so much you can do by just adding things in, thinking outside the box. Yeah, the Qualitex box. Yeah, the okay. Qualitex box. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, there is so out. much going on here. Should we get rid of that? Is there yes, anything more? There's more! There's more. Oh, I didn't tell you how to attach it. So okay. just use stretchy balloon tape with the H technique on here. Okay. Cluster of four to four inch. And again, I've gone to seven inch with that one. Excellent. But you could put some um, coral or you could put some seaweed out of 160s and 260s. Yeah. Well. Okay. Good. Okay. Right. What else have we got? Oh, we've done Piggy. Where's yeah, Piggy can go. Are we, are we doing this one? Yes, please. Oh, this is great. Big reveal. Big reveal. <laughs> Ooh. What's gone down? Oh, oh it's cool. Okay. We'll Don't worry, everybody. It. We'll fix it. Hold on, we're going to fix it. We're going to... All right, all right. <laughs> God, I'm being directed by... Okay. <laughs> Hold on, we're... let's fix it. Let's fix it. Okay, no, 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 wait. We're going to do a click your finger okay. fix. Ready? You've got to click your fingers. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing here? I'll step off for a second and you... Just shouldn't have allowed her to do that, was it? Anyway, I've got I've got the other stuff. Okay. Brilliant. Is... Thank you. All right. So okay. what have we done? So again, 24 inch deco bubble, 16 inch inside. Yep. And again we've used the um, embossing mousse on this. Okay. And I've also used um, another one. Another 
product that you sell. We sell it here at balloonmarket.co.uk. You, you chain, you chain. I'm <laughs> completely wrong. Balloonmarket.co.uk. Check it out. Ooh, what's it's this stuff? This. Okay, so these are crystal drops. Huh. We've got a good range of those, you've haven't we? You've got I? a lot, yeah, you've got a lot. Okay. I really should pay more attention to what Jenny's buying. Okay, so we've got crystal drops. <laughs> and look, look at that, look how pretty they are. Oh, so they once that's you, yeah. you can take that off and put it on a balloon. Yes, double, lovely. Double. Okay, so with this one, we use stencils. Okay. Okay, so again, we've just picked up a butterfly stencil. We don't stencil. sell these, do we? You do. We sell stencils. You do. I honestly didn't know we sell stencils. Available, I'm getting bored of it now. Okay, <laughs> you know where you can get them. Okay, so with this, again, it's like we did before. Um, we're going to put the um, embossing mousse on, but I'm going to use a palette knife okay. again. So this is vinyl on here as well? Yeah, it? sorry. So with this one, with the vinyl, um, I've used an edding pen just to pick up the, the, oh, the that's dots. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't and to hold anything. Yeah, if you can hold it flat I'll for hold me, it flat like please, that. just to show you. So. I've got to be able to show everybody. I've got to be able to oh, see okay. it. So if I if I hold it like this. Yeah, lovely. Let's grab that mousse. Okay. So with this one, you can you can tape it actually onto the bubble. Yeah. So you've not got two people doing it. So it's going to take a little bit of the mousse onto the palette knife. Hold it flat, and I'm just going to dab it over. So I'm covering all the stencil. You don't, don't move, need a don't lot. Move. I'm well, pushing that's in hard, you. isn't it? That's it. Do you prefer butter or margarine? It just looks like hard butter, doesn't it? Yeah, no, probably margarine. I don't like that when it's hard. So you can make sure you cover the whole lot of stencil. I'm hoping Scraping one of the cameras the is picking this up. And then away it goes. Oh, look. That's amazing. The beauty of this as well, if you make a mistake, yeah. you can just rub it off. Oh, lovely. Okay, so that takes about two hours to dry. Okay. So that can't, that's not one that you can do there and then for a customer. Yeah, yeah. That looks lovely though. Thank you. And you've also, this is some of the diamond mesh and you clearly have just cut just yeah. down. So two two strands of the, the diamond mesh and then I've made a bow with the diamond mesh as yeah. well yeah. on top. Okay. Okay. Cool. What, what was this? Ah uh, yes. What okay. Was this about? Mm -hmm. Okay. So with um you can do a QR code. Obviously you wouldn't give the customer that. Okay. Okay, so you could print a QR code onto a sticker and put it into a gift card, or you could get one of your little discs that you sell and put the vinyl on for this. Okay. So when the uh, customer clicks the, um, scans, scans the QR yeah, yeah. code, you can put a video message on, which we've got one here. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Annabelle. Happy birthday to you. That's a great idea. Yeah. What, what video have you got? This one. <laughs> <laughs> so, gonna, you're gonna, okay, you're gonna you're do it. Okay, you completely confused me now. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, so the person um, records the video. No, I understand the concept. It's just how what we, you guys figure it out. You've got. A video. You know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, I've no idea yeah. what's going on. QR code linked to video, so it could be everybody saying happy birthday mm -hmm. or whatever. Definitely. So it's more personalised. So if, once the, the bubble goes, I wouldn't put the QR code onto the bubble because eventually, at some point, that's going to go within a couple of months. You could put it actually onto a card. So if you put it on the disc or, yeah. or whatever. they've got that. So you forever. do that in vinyl. Yeah, put it onto the disc. So you just do the black and that will yeah. it'll still scan it okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. or you can engrave it as well if you've got the engraving tool. Awesome. You could do that one as well. Yeah, so it's something a little bit different as well. I like that idea. Good. <sighs> leading edge, leading edge. We're done. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Thank you. Have we got, we've got, we've still, still got more, everybody. We have. This is this is a high value show. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Shall I shall bring the bits. Yes, please. <coughs> yep. Thank you. 
Okay, so again, we've used the um, diamond mesh. We've yep. cut it down. So there are three, four, five, six. Uh, sorry, seven strands on this one. Yeah. Um, and we've just glued it onto the deco bubble. This is a 20 inch, and then we've got a 16 inch Caribbean blue inside. Cluster of four to four inches, and a cluster of four to seven inches. I put it on the wrong side, didn't I? No, I did it. Oh, no, I'm going to show you. Oh, it's a big reveal. Sorry. The big I reveal. I've done it wrong. <laughs> Okay, right, so, so we're thinking Diamonds and Pearls, a song, yep. another song reference, know okay. that one? No. Who sung that? I Anyone don't know. know. Diamonds and Pearls? No. Prince. Oh my God, I should know that. Yeah. That's another one for your I playlist. I should know that. <laughs> okay. What album was that from? I don't know. Purple Rain? I'm not sure. I don't know. I like the song though. Diamonds and Pearls. Okay, sing it. No, I can't sing. All right. Sing. So you I can't sing, you, you can't cook. No, I can, I can oh. make balloons, eh? Okay, you're, you're all right at balloons, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so with this one, we're going to put the pearls on. So instead of sticking pearls on, we're going to make pearls. Okay. okay. So with that one, I'm going to put that there. We're going to take crystal drops. Oh. Okay. And with these, you only need a little bit. Okay, so we're okay. going to, can you see that? Can you go see this? Okay, so we're just going right. to dab it on. And I'm just going freehand. Oh, yeah. Oh, this quick. is a good idea. This is quick. And how long does this take to dry? About two hours, not even that. And there's far less fiddly than sticking yeah, little sticking stickers it on, and things. Definitely. And obviously, if you wanted to make bigger ones, you can just hold it there a little bit longer. If it forms a peak, the peak drops. Yeah. So you'll get a, st a dot as well. I'm just going to. If only there was some here that you'd done a couple of hours Maybe, ago. Maybe, yeah. But as well with this one, you could drop some um, um, powder onto it, embellish, um, embellishment powder, yeah. to make it a bit more glittery. Okay. okay. There you go. It's gonna, yeah. So but let me just then, do that side. Sorry, Greg. I mean, you don't need to. You've sort of demonstrated it. Yeah, I should show right, you. Right, you're going to do it anyway. I am. I'm going to finish it off. You can't do it half-heartedly. I'll just stand here and look pretty. <laughs> you do that. There you go. Right. All right, we're done. Okay. okay, so you can turn it all the way around. So they've got the diamonds and they've got the pearls. Look at that. That is so cool. I really like that. And this is uh, the glitter drops on this one. Yeah, available at the market. Okay, okay. okay great. Thank you. Ooh. The weight hanging that down. That needs to. Now the last, the last one. Get rid of that. Potentially one of my favorites. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so we've done exactly the dot thing again. Okay, and we've used um, vinyl on this, and we've like, used like a dot vinyl, so it's all pink vinyl. Yeah. And then I've just picked up the dots using the edding pen, okay. so manually just picking the edding pen, and then just different colour are the glitter dots. And it looks really smart. Yeah, and I've used it on the bottom as well. So you could, this, to me, this reminds me of ice creams yeah, as well. So yeah, you yeah. could make lots of different things with this. I think this is a product that's going to grow and grow, especially so, on the deco bubble. Essentially, the basis of this is exactly the same base as you've done for everything else. You've put a 16 inch inside a 20 inch. Mm -hmm. You could, of course, do it with helium in the 24 yeah. inch. And this is so light. This will float with helium yeah. as well. Obviously not the base, but the actual yeah. bubble itself. Yeah. So many great ideas. And we didn't even talk about putting, oh yeah, we did talk about it in the first show about putting feathers and things in, in bubbles, but there's just so much good. Right, some of the things you can't put in bubbles, because there are other clear balloons on the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they, they're, they're good in some respects. These are good in some respects. There's room for everybody. Mm -hmm. What can you not put in a bubble if people are interested? So you can't put cloves inside there. You can't put yes. fresh flowers. You couldn't put a bouquet of flowers either. So it's just smaller designs, but making the... Um, Making, using your imagination really yeah. of what you can actually put inside balloons. You can't put a, a cuddly toy inside a bubble. Either. Polystyrene balls, they were, they balls. were fashionable for a yeah. while, weren't they? Definitely, you can put polystyrene balls, you can put snowflakes inside, anything that's light as well. So, uh, obviously for some of these these products, you, you cut them open and heat seal them. Can you do that with bubbles? No. No, you okay. don't heat seal a bubble and you don't okay. need high float inside a bubble. That's one of the, the big selling yeah. points that you don't need. So it. that's why you can't put those things inside because the neck's effectively not big enough yeah. to get mm -hmm. them inside. But you can do all of this other stuff that you've seen today. Yeah, and they've got a longer float time or yep. air fill time as well. Yeah. Well, Lucy, thank you so much. You're welcome. This has been great. <laughs> 
Get back into bubbles, everybody. <laughs> they are phenomenal. Right, as a guest on BMTV, you get to ask everybody the question of the week. What's it going to be? What's your favourite farm animal? Okay. okay. <laughs> I see what you did there with the pig. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite farm animal? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you once again. And thank You're you, welcome. everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed on YouTube, head over there, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon. You'll be notified every single time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram and check us out on TikTok where the fun stuff happens. Stay happy, stay positive. See you all next week. Bye. Bye.